Hi, we're the Yes Men and we're here in Southern California in the middle of the biggest water crisis ever. Public authorities tell us we gotta limit our showers or not flush when we pee or not plant such big lawns, but what about beef? Why isn't anybody talking about that? There are over 5 million cattle in California, and astonishingly, they use nearly half of the state's water supply, mostly because the vast majority are fattened up on water-hungry crops like alfalfa in feedlots like this. But hardly anyone is talking about reining in the factory farms. That's why we teamed up with Fun or Die to get the word out about it. Hi. I'm Jack Harris. And I'm John Tyson. And we're with Beef America. We're representing the beef industry, which has promoted a solution to the whole problem of cows using so much water, which is to basically encourage people to skip dozens and dozens of showers at a time in order to eat beef. You have to go for 40 days without a shower in order to have about four to six ounces of, of steak. We're gonna share some tips and tricks to help you become a more sustainable beef consumer. I shit in a litter box. This is my poop pile. So we're here on the set for this Funnier Die video. This is going to be the commercial for Beef America's Skip Showers for Beef campaign, which is all about trying to get people not to shower so they can eat beef. It's about these two sort of hip, LA people who think that they're doing the right thing by not showering. So instead of, you know, saving water in some other way or maybe stopping eating meat altogether, they decide, no, we're gonna stop showering so we can still eat the red meat that we enjoy. So yeah, what does it actually feel like to be living in California with the drought and have you had to confront any of the drought on your own? Bathing together. <laughs> that's okay, that's pretty good. Do you think that stuff actually makes a difference relative to the huge scale of something like the beef industry? I don't think so, but it makes me feel a little bit better. We came here with our friend Tito Ibarra, who's going to go and ask some people about their beef consumption. Uh, it's the skipping showers to eat beef movement. I love burgers. I'm not saying don't eat burgers. I'm just saying, you know, maybe, 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 maybe compensate by, you know, skipping showers. Yeah, yeah. You know? There's a lot of people doing it. Why don't we just don't eat meat? Don't eat meat? Yeah. Well, that's a possibility too. You know what would be cool, I always thought, is if somebody made a hamburger out of vegetables. That would be, that would be awesome. You haven't seen veggie burgers? Oh, no, uh, no. Now, when's the last time you guys had your shower, your last shower? My last, last shower? shower? Yeah. Uh, I'd say this was yesterday. Mm, so you're not with the movement? No. You like beef? You like to eat beef? Oh, yeah. Kebabs? Hamburgers, it's a movement. Every lot of people are doing it. Skipping showers for Skipping, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 55 showers you had to skip in order to compensate for that burger. You know? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna skip like 100, 110 so I can have two burgers. I love it. Yeah. Actually, this is why I cut back on eating meat, and I even told my boyfriend, I was like, if we eat less meat, it's better for the environment. So we launched the skip showers for beef campaign, and it was pretty elaborate. There were videos, brochures, stickers, beards, and even rock stars. So Moby uh, recorded a, a message for Skip Showers for Beef, a really wonderful message these guys <laughs> put together. And Moby somehow agreed to be the spokesperson for the beef industry. Hi, I'm Moby, and I'm a vegan. Skip Showers for Beef. I won't, because I don't eat meat. But you can. Go for it. Change happens one shower at a time. With the Moby video making the rounds, it was time to hit the streets. Uh, well, we are from uh, SkipShowersForBeef.com. We say that you should keep eating beef, I but just, you should uh, equalize I your water. I have a hot dog, so I have to take, take away 225 gallons. Yeah, it's only 13 showers, though, for a hot dog. Oh, it's not okay. bad. Would you take hundreds of less showers so you could have that steak? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't? I, would, I need that shower. Well, you want the steak? Well, something's got to give, man. Okay, I'll take the steak. Have you ever had a dirt bath before? No. Oh, you got to try a dirt bath. Skip showers for beef! Skip showers for beef! Louder! Skip showers for beef! The public was clearly ready for this visionary solution to drought. But what about the people in power? So the plan is to go to this water event that Governor Brown is going to be presenting at, and for somebody to go to the microphone before he begins speaking, and talk about skip showers for beef because Governor Brown yesterday said that he was skipping showers because of the drought. And so why not skip showers and eat beef? Hi. Oh, hello. Sorry. Hi. We 
just wanted to announce we have um, an exciting new uh, drought fighting initiative that launched today. It's, um, it's actually endorsed by a few beloved celebrities in Los Angeles, including Moby. Uh, you can find it at skipshowersforbeef.com. You can download water tables to teach you how to skip showers and stay clean, all in the name of beef. We're never going to give up beef. We love it. I love it. And this is how you can keep eating beef and also feel good about yourself. Thank you. Thank skip you. showers for beef. Skip showers for beef. It's very easy to do this stuff, folks. Do it at home. They, they went up and started promoting beef consumption uh, together with water saving. <laughs> Not water saving for its own sake, but water saving for the sake of eating beef. By the way, if we, the alfalfa goes to China, is that better or worse than if the alfalfa feeds cows and people have a hamburger tomorrow? I, I don't know. I mean, if, Ask me, I think you should be eating veggie burgers, but um, that's not the predominant sentiment. The guy from the LA Times kept pressing him like, well, so this means we need to shave off not one or two percent, but more like 15 or 20 percent from our consumption, right? And if we need, if we're going to do that, the governor skipping a shower or even everybody skipping a shower is not going to make a difference. We need to actually kick the cows out of the state. While the governor was grilling up veggie burgers, the media was still hungry for meat. CNN requested a Skype interview with Tom Bransford, founder of Skip Showers for Beef. There was only one problem. He didn't exist yet. Oh, no, 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 um, we should make us paint them look crazy, right? dude. It's okay, right? That I look so crazy. Can you just talk about what Skip Showers for Beef is? Skip Showers for Beef is an initiative uh, that's about uh, helping Californians find alternatives uh, that are uh, compatible with our lifestyle. So you skip. Six showers, or you skip no, one no. shower? Uh, no, no. Uh, to eat a steak kebab, so a steak kebab is about eight ounces of beef. That takes about 900 gallons of water to, to grow. So what I was suggesting, one uh, low-impact sort of way, you know, it's 52 skipped showers, 52 weeks in the year. Just every, uh, every week, skip one shower, one extra shower that you wouldn't have ordinarily skipped. Skip that shower once a week. Throughout the year, you've skipped 52 showers. Memorial Day comes around, grill up that steak kebab. Just eat it right up. I thank you very deeply for this opportunity to, to speak about these issues that matter so much to me and to all of us. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel dirty. <laughs> hamburger and skip taking a shower for weeks. It is the message behind a grassroots campaign that is now exploding. A group of activists have launched an internet campaign called Skip Showers for Beef, arguing that raising cattle isn't environmentally or drought friendly. That was so smug. I'm not good at conserve water because I don't eat meat, but you should. Yeah. People talk about how much water almonds take, or walnuts, or alfalfa, but I've heard that the steak takes about 400 gallons. So it's part of the drought strategy to reduce uh, meat consumption. Uh, this thing is a, a bit complicated. You know, what's weird is working on this project has made me actually, I mean, I don't eat beef right now. I'm not eating beef. And oh. I guess that's kind of one of the big challenges with climate change is how do we address that? How do we change our habits? Yeah. You know? I mean, I think it's, it's more like how do we shut down factory farming of beef, you know, how do yeah, we shut yeah. down the industry? Because, like, you know, we're always told it's our fall, we need to recycle or, you know, take shorter showers or whatever to deal with this drought. But well, that's all distraction, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's nothing. I mean, we need to take action as citizens and actually do something real. Uh, 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 yeah.
Yeah. If you're from Cali and you like to have your beef and eat it too, you need to realize we're in a drought in California. But there's one thing we all can do. Shallows for beef, skip 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 shallows for beef, uh, uh. I've lived my whole life in Canada. I think of the tar sands as the whole at the center of my country, an undertaking so vast and violent that we have trouble looking at it. 